Alright, today I'm going to go through a tutorial on Tinkercad, an online program, a, a web-based program that allows you to create 3D objects. And then what I will be doing is downloading this 3D object and using it on my 3D printer. This is a great program for people new to 3D printing, also kids getting them into it. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you got to sign in. I just use my Google ID to sign in. It makes it really quick. And it'll bring you to this home screen for Tinkercad here where I have nothing because really I use their other program called Fusion 360 and that's more of an advanced program. So for now we're going to go ahead and click on create new design. It'll give your design an interesting name, as you can see. Um, and so today what I will be doing is building a phone holder. All right, so first thing you get to pick the shapes you want to start working with. And so you get a lot to choose from. There's other things in here you can grab, text, numbers, characters, and so on. But I know that I want to start with this triangular roof shape. Okay, so I need to change the side I want to work with on this. I want it to sit up. So I type in the angle I want the change to be, and it does it for me. What I'm doing here is I'm pulling on this cone until I see this number go to zero, and that's telling me that the piece is flat with my work surface. The zero is the important measurement. Right now, I know that I want this to also be larger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, yeah, I like that, 55 by 45. That's fine. So we can start there. All right. But I also know I want it to be taller. So let's go ahead and grab that center dot and make it taller. I'm just going to type in the number I know. Let's go with 35 millimeters and these measurements are all in millimeters because as you get into 3d printing you'll see that most things are now i'm going to bring in a second piece and there's a couple ways to do it but i like to do it this way 270 again to bring it to the angle i want to be working with this i'll pull it up to flat again and this one I'm going to make a little taller because it'll be easier to work with in the future. All right, so we have these two triangles. I'm going to turn this triangle into a hole. I'm going to keep this triangle as a solid. So first thing I want to do is I want to align them. I'm going to click on this symbol up here, align. And I'm going to align them both in the center there and in the middle. Now, this is why I made it longer. It makes it easier to click on at this point. So, it was 45 by 35. Let's try 25 by 35. There we go. So, that's the size I want it to be. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and realign these to the center here, but I'm going to align it to the lowest point there. Now I can bring it up five. Change that back to zero. There we go. All right. So to cut this out, I just click on that piece and change it from a solid to a hole. Now you have to do one more step and you have to group these two. So once I group them, I can get my hole cut out. And I'm fine with that. In Fusion 360, there are different ways to do it, but I'm going to be fine with this for today. The next part I'm going to make is a little ledge to hold the phone on. And for this, I'm just going to grab a cube, extend it out as far as I think it would work well, just visually. Drop it down a little bit. Now, for this piece, I want it to have an angle to it so that it um, holds the phone at a little bit of an angle. That's too aggressive of an angle. Let's say 10 degrees looks good. And for this piece, 
I'm just going to bring it where this corner is below this one. So let me re-click on that. Uh, and move it one. 1.5 that looks good okay so we have another solid but it's not at the same height so I'll grab that center box again and I'm gonna bring it back up to the 35 height so now we should have matching height it looks odd I know but I'm gonna clean that up later and let me grab another box so originally I did a 10, 10 degree turn there. Maybe I'll mimic that as we make another little ledge to hold the cell phone in place. So for this ledge, how thick do I need this to be? I'll do six millimeters. And that ledge looks good, but it's at the wrong angle because I want it to kind of grab into um, the I, the phone. So I think we're going to have to go to negative 10 degrees there. Uh, let me do a little bit of a more aggressive. Let me go another negative 5 degrees. That looks good. So that's a negative of 15 degrees in total at that point. Now this piece has to also come up to the 35 millimeters. And there we go. All right, so we have the basic look that I want for my phone holder. Now what I will do is group them all together. All right. And the last bit here that I'm going to do is I am going to make this box pretty much as big as I want, but I'll just do 76 by 8, let's go 94 just to be safe. And I'm going to bring it up and I can zoom in there. I know that's I can see a little gap there still, and really it's fine to bite into the material, so I'm going to go just there, and I know that's going to cover it pretty nicely. And what I'm going to do, now that I'm noticing this, is I'm going to ungroup this piece. I'm going to ungroup this piece. And I'm going to bring this triangle up just a hair up. I don't want to grab the whole thing. Let me move that back. I'm going to move that triangle just a little bit up now that I'm biting into the material. And I think that'll do nicely. So we moved it two millimeters up and gives me more material down there at the bottom. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and just do this all at once. I'm going to change this to a hole, and I'm going to regroup everything. And there we go. It cut out that material nicely where I wanted it. All right, so we have built ourselves a nice little easy phone holder. Um, if I would like to create a softer edge on that, I could there are ways to do that to get this done and round that edge off a little bit in this program it's different than some of the other um, programs as far as 3d printing software and this is a little tedious but it's worth it in the end because we don't want to damage our cell phones so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab the corner here of this I'm going to knock out everything at that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and raise it up. And I will turn that into a hole and that will cut this flat. And that will make it easier to work with to round that edge. Because right now it's at an angle and that's going to make it a little difficult. So let me go ahead and cut that flat as I group the pieces together. 
and there we go. And what I will add now, hmm, how do I want to do this? Okay, I'll just add a cylinder. That'll make it nice and simple. So I'm going to add a cylinder. It'll make this edge a little rounded. Obviously, I'm not going to go with that size. And I know my degree was 15 degrees. And let's go ahead and raise that up as well to the 35 mark. All right. Do I like that? I think it's a little too high. So let me go ahead and move it down just a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and group those together. Now that's not the shape I want, so I'm going to grab another box. I am going to extend it up. Ah, I was grabbing the cone there. I'm going to extend it up. I'm going to make it larger because if I change the direction now and don't do it later that'll be difficult so let me change that to 15 degrees to match everything else and now i can go ahead and drag that into the piece and see where i want to make my cut click on the one piece that i do want to cut make it a hole and then group the selection and there we go we have a little bit of a rounded edge to it it's not going to hurt our phone yeah, or damage anything okay so now we have the cell phone holder that we want um and we'll see if this works maybe the angle is wrong maybe it needs to be up or down or left or right but this is a free program and it allows you to mess around and it's quick and easy. I'm 16 minutes into this with some mistakes and I already have a program that I can now export as an STL file and now I can go and print it. So we'll check out how it works.